Right. Chattanooga police say a man tossed his dead child into the arms of a bystander and then drove away. Good evening, I'm Calvin Snead. I'm Kim Chapman. This is 11-month-old Kiara. According to police, her dad left her in a hot car while he worked and she overheated and died. They arrived around 11 a.m. and police were called to the scene a little after 6. Alana LaFleur is live to tell us what happened and about the living conditions police later found at the children's home. Alana. Kim Calvin, behind me is the lot where police say Kiara and her two siblings were left. That buffalo shack over there is owned by her grandfather. That's where police say her father is work was working when he's accused of leaving the children. Now he is charged with criminal homicide. And today we got a copy of a frantic 911 call from the woman who alerted police about Kiara. Flowers and stuffed toys stood in a lot off Tunnel Boulevard to honor this baby girl. Kiara was 11 months old. Police say her father tossed her into the arms of a stranger and drove away. In the 911 call, you can hear a panicked woman telling dispatchers about the baby's condition. The baby's not breathing. The baby's living. The baby's Okay. When paramedics responded to this scene Saturday, they say her temperature was 106 degrees. They saw insects flying from her eyes, mouth, and nose. That's terrible. That's so terrible. Travis McCullough is charged with criminal homicide in his daughter's death. He and the children's mother, Jessica Tillette, both face three aggravated child abuse and neglect charges. Their two other children were also left in the car, and investigators say they had poor hygiene and physical injuries. One child had two black eyes. Dory DeVoe lived near the family's home in these apartments. Can't leave your kids in the car. It's too hot. Like, you can't even sit in the car on yourself, you know. Why would you do that for a baby? Like, I don't know. I just have a lot of emotions about that. That's sad. At the house, Tillette told police that she and McCullough would use a belt to discipline the children. One of her kids hadn't been to the doctor in a few years, despite developmental delays. Investigators say the family's home was atrocious. One room was covered in feces and urine. Honestly, I feel all the inspections that go on around here maintenance and somebody should have been noticed something was going on in the house because they do inspections all the time. Police also noticed there wasn't any food in the house. Tillette told them they ran out of their $650 a month in food stamps. Investigators say when they gave the kids food, they acted like they hadn't eaten in a long time and were protective over their meals. I had to do it before myself, go to the food bank, you know, like it's other resources, churches, you know, they'll help you or they'll tell you what day to come. And yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's emergency numbers out there. That's you, not an excuse. Those girls with the pink signs told me they are Kiara's cousins and right now they're collecting donations to help pay for her funeral. So far, they said they've gotten about $300 in just a few hours. Now reporting live, Alana LaFleur, News Channel 9. Alana, thank you. Kiara's parents are expected to be in court next Tuesday for their charges. Right now, please say her older siblings are in custody of protective services.